Tanya, thanks so much for spending some time with us here tonight. Can you, can you share with us, the people that are watching this, can you share with them what moved you from being a non-self-employed person to being a self-employed person? Okay, uh, it was around the time that we were having our second child mm. and I was a receptionist at that time and oh. realizing like the cost of daycare for two children, it just wasn't feasible for me mm. to return to work at that job. Sure. Um, and I have always been passionate about photography and wanting to do it. So I took that time to take some courses and, okay. and build up my skills and, and then uh, took the plunge. Just and I just launch. dove in, yeah, and hope for the best. And, it's just grown over the years, and here I am, ten years later, it's still going. Ten years, oh, that, that's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. So it was kind of, it was like it was a dive in. It was like I, looking back, probably wasn't ready for it, um, but it built up slowly over time. Like I wasn't overwhelmed, and and I continued over the years to take workshops and sure network yeah. with other photographers and build, build your skills. Yeah. Okay. I would. Uh, second shoot for other photographers before I got into weddings myself. Okay. Just to build that confidence up on how to control a wedding day and sure and work with people and right. um, I think I've been doing weddings since 2014. Right. On my own. That's a lot of weddings. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it's wonderful, like as you know, yeah. doing weddings to yeah. be there. Yeah. Is there is there a, a challenge that you faced as a self-employed person that you've had to sort of deal with, overcome that that you could share with us? Well, definitely this last year, everyone has faced challenges with COVID mm -hmm. and shutting down and not being able to work, Right. Uh, especially because I do a lot of weddings, so big events couldn't happen. Big time, But yeah. learning how to pivot and working with my clients to make sure they were comfortable in what was happening and moving dates and schedules. Sure. And that was challenging for so many businesses. But before COVID, I think in the beginning is um, having the funds to really buy the equipment that you needed, the quality of equipment. Right. You know what you want to be able to do, but you can't always afford those things. Sure. Um, and just giving yourself that time to grow. And your equipment, your confidence, everything will grow with you. Right. Yeah, yeah certainly the, the investment to, to move forward, mm -hmm. kind of this give and take, like I need to invest. There goes yeah. my, my profits are gone now. And exactly. Looking, thinking bigger. So, so for me, my personal... Uh, experience because I'm able to have a husband that works full time. Sure, that's like, handy. It, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> it's helped so I could build up my business without that pressure of always having to be in the green. Sure, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. So people that are watching this show, uh, we know that there's people that are uh, self-employed curious or maybe they see themselves as being self-employed someday. Is there a piece of wisdom that you could share with that person and help them help them go to their next steps or, or, or launch well, I think um, like I want to say just dive in if you're passionate about something you know you'll find a will or if there's a will there's a way you'll, right. you'll find it sure. and just dive in and and learn with everything you can just absorb it absorb from your peers what they've gone through like so if you can network or go for coffee with someone and right. just find out what errors they made going away and so you, right. can, you, so you don't have to make the same ones right and and i would say and then help people behind you because that builds your own strength if you're if sure. you're lending hand to someone behind you yeah that makes sense um, it makes your knowledge stronger too right that, that's excellent uh tanya thanks so much for spending some time with us here tonight oh it's my pleasure